I don't know the funny side of Uncle Lebo White. No, you've, not you've not many been... people. Not many people know. Not many people know about the funny side of Ebo. Ebo. Um, but they will see that day. <laughs> they, will, they will get. They will get to see that day. So the the the, the crazy right. What okay. What is it based on? Just as you said that the timid boy. Okay, so yes, we know of the timid boy now in the studios of HFM making two known. What is it exactly about? About my life, about my journey, but the most outrageous take. Okay. On all that has happened in in my life, mm. the most outrageous take. Um, for instance, the reason why I retired from boxing at the age of fourteen. I had a very promising boxing career. Oh, really? Yes, and I, I, I had, I, was, I retired at the age of fourteen. I'll tell you the circumstances. <laughs> that led, that led to, Uncle Lebo, the, 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 the boxer. Yes. Um, what, light, lightweight, paperweight. No, bantamweight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, would be very funny. I, I will also talk about um, how I got into selling, selling we. We, oui. uh, we, oui, we, oui, yes. Marijuana, yes, yes. So you sold we. I, I helped to sell. <laughs> I was actually the, the, more or less in code the sales agent of the the re, the main guy who happened okay. to be my senior half brother. Okay. Um, who was selling it, and I was sharing a room with him, and okay. therefore I became a de by default his sales assistant. Okay. So the only problem is that, no, the only problem is that we didn't make money because he was he was our biggest customer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was our biggest customer. The Americans said, don't get high on your own supply. No, but he, he got high, very high on his own. <laughs> he loved the stuff too much. Wow, <laughs> so, wow. So there wasn't any money. <laughs> People were not buying. Every time you come, you know, that's a shot. <laughs> oh, and then, uh, and I'm going to share some other very interesting um, experiences I've had. For instance, um, uh, when I was growing, somebody wakes up in our neighborhood and um, a thief has broken into his room. Right. And picked his, uh, he had just returned from Nigeria. In those days, the biggest thing was you come from Nigeria with a huge sound system. Tape. Yes. Yeah. And then, a gege. A gege. <laughs> and it's gone. So he goes to the police and the police ask him, do you have a suspect? And he says, yes, I have a suspect. Mm -hmm. So they detail um, a detective to go with him. To go and he ask it to uh, search Mm. The suspect and see. So they go, they come back. This was a certain mm. And find the guy still sitting sitting in front of his house. So the D C I D agrees and says, um, Crutchy, the, this man here says um he was robbed la over the um, through the night. Mm. And he says he suspects that you may be the 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 the, the, the culprit. And so I'm here to set your room. And the guy very calmly. He did yeah. it not. So, oh, the go guy ahead. is open. Go. <laughs> okay. So they go in, and as soon as they enter, there is a there is a sound system ah. sitting right on his center table. So the guy goes, yeah, no, that's my that's my system. So the CID steps out to where the and the guy is still sitting there, mm. and says, "Excuse me, gentlemen, gentlemen, can you please come come in and see something?" So the guy says he has seen. His sound, sound system, system in your in your hall. I say, I'm fine. Quite. Because I'm not. Oh, you're going to be a mom or bamboo from my day. Now we may be out now. So what? Ban what? Ban? You mean you don't want bed? Now Jenny says, "What? Fine. We just have two no. We may hear them. We may hear them." And then he goes up and left.